Assalamu alaikum, my name is Ali Gaza and welcome to my YouTube channel Marketing Timber. So today I am going to discuss with you a very important uh, flow. So that is expected uh, next order flow. Okay, so how you can like uh, set up this flow, what are the triggers, what are the conditions, what are the important things you have to uh, consider in your mind. So uh, let's go ahead. So first one, uh, first way is that you can uh, make segment uh, for the expected next order and then you can trigger the flow based on that segment. So I will click on create segment and list. So I will segment and next purchase uh, expected next purchase. Okay. So then I will click here and properly support someone and go down. Click on this one. Expected date of the next order is uh, in the next, like I can say, 14 days. Okay, so create a segment. So in this way, you can make a segment, and then you can create a flow based on that segment. Okay, so so first let it uh, be completed. So there are 67 uh, members. So I will go to the flows. Okay, so. I will click on create flow, create flow. So I will click on create from scratch. So segment based flow, okay. So I will click on create flow. So then uh, after this uh, uh, flow overview, I will show you the, like how, what is the other way, what is the second way to set up the expected next order flow, okay. So I will click on this segment and Expected next purchase, and you can say the done. Okay, so so what does the segment means? So like there is there are the expectations. There are like uh, we can predict like sixty seven customers. Those have like placed order in the past, and they are again uh, buy maybe uh, buy from us, purchase from us within the next 40 days so you can uh, do like you can add email here okay so and you can uh, like configure the content so i will show you like how you have to manage what you have to add in the email so i will show you uh, for the second way so you can like use that email uh, here also so uh, then uh, like then you can add the time delay here and you can say like 13 days and then again, you can add email here. Okay, so you can say, uh, like uh, we found, uh, like you are about to purchase again from us. Okay, so such like content you can add in the email and you can like add the dynamic product block to show them some uh, like personalized products. Okay, so this is the first, first way like to uh, set up the expected nest order uh, flow. So now I will show you what is the second way to show uh, what is the second way for the like uh, expected next purchase flow. So let's search, uh, okay, create flow. So then I will click on create from scratch. So expected next purchase flow. to create flow so then uh, we will like uh, set up from the scratch so you have to go to the date property and click here and expected date of the next order and if you are not able to see this option so because there are some prerequisites to uh, set up this flow so what are uh, these conditions so first one is like you your account must have uh, 500 place orders like 500 customers have placed order at your store. So first one is that condition and next is uh, there should be some customers who purchase from you three to four times. So there are some two to three conditions uh, accept these. So uh, if your account is not fulfilling these conditions, so you cannot able to see the expected date of next order here. So then what you can do, so then you can make a segment and you can trigger the flow based on that segment. So I will click here and uh, let it go. So choose the time of uh, day 
So yes, I can say here like 11. Okay, so uh, then what you have to do, so you have to add the email here. Okay, so, so add the email here. So what you have to add here, so I will click on configure content. So I will show you uh, one by one like what you have to add there. So subject line will be, we are waiting for you. Okay. We are waiting. For your next order okay so then you can add in the preview uh, open to see what we have inside so i will click on drag and drop options to show you what we have to add in email okay so basic so i will click on uh, this one okay so then uh, here you can add the like uh, logo okay and you can add image here also like uh, where you can say thank you okay or we are looking for we are waiting for you so such like text you can add the image or you can just add uh, the image from your store so here what we have to add so so here you can write uh, like hello Thanks for your uh, lost order. We are waiting for your next order. Okay, so our data tells us that. Your next order is uh, within next seven days or forty days. Okay, so you have to, you can specify uh, this time. So uh, then you can say, "Are you ready?" To buy again, to purchase again. Okay, so I can make it like centralize and click on save. So here you can add the text. Like if you need any help, email us. Okay, so centralize it and bold it. And here I can uh, like uh, write down email us so centralize it or uh, you can like click on here uh, link in so change it to email so here uh, like you can add email where you want to get the replies okay so save so then you can add the product block here dynamic product block so uh, and click so show popular so uh, you have to uh, change this option no to yes like personalized recommendations so you can like uh, set it uh, this one and like this one okay so click on save so now uh, the like dynamic block will show the different products to different customers on their personalization so this is like how you can set up the first email so uh, let me show you example here Oops, this one. So this is like uh, one example I can uh, uh, like manage to show you. So here you can say, uh, see like, are you ready for your next order? So the text here and then job again and customer favorites. Okay. So in this way, you can also uh, set your first email uh, for the expected next purchase order flow. So, so then uh, we have to wait until person expected date of the next order. So like the time comes when the customers have to purchase from us again. So then again, you can add email here. So I can clone it and you can like uh, use it here.
okay so then uh, what you have to do so i will click on edit and the next we have to uh, like add the subject line so here you can say want to buy again at x brand so whatever your brand is okay so then uh, in the uh, like uh, preview text you can say uh, we have a gift for you inside okay so click on edit email and then uh, you have to like customize the content a little bit so here you can say you can also add here like first name also if you have the data okay so i'm just trying to give you the idea we found you want to uh, purchase again yes okay to make it super easy for you we are offering you extra x percentage of okay so yes no it's fine so then uh, you can like uh, give the coupon code here like you can say if it is static code use code thanks fire okay so you can use this card and change it to two and this way and you can add the button here show up again and here you will uh, give the links uh, like where you want to uh, redirect them okay so in this way you can add the second email so let me show you the second email example uh, so where it is is this one so here you can uh, like uh, look second email example so i know like the text is not maybe like blur to you and obviously it is blur but you can get have you can get the idea from it yeah, like you can uh, use the image at the top and you can test this also then text and then coupon code and then cta button and then recommendations okay so uh, this was the like second email so click on save and return and in the third email, you can like uh, uh, remind them for like uh, discount. Okay, so like add some uh, delay here. So I can add the time delay here. Two days. Okay, click on save. And in this email, I am not going to add the third uh, third email. So you just you have to. Uh, uh, change the subject line preview and little bit like text here so like in the uh, subject line you can say uh, like you can say coupon is about to expire okay so hurry up so this is like you can set up the subject line and the preview and in the emails, you just have to say, so uh, like your coupon is about to expire within like uh, 24 hours, within the next three days, whatever you want to uh, want to use. Like the main purpose is to create the urgency. So you can say uh, like uh, discount your coupon is about to expire. So uh, hurry up and don't let it go. So just be uh, to the point. Okay, just uh, you should be to the point. You should talk to the point and don't uh, need to talk uh, here and there so just uh, uh, like let them know their coupon is about to expire and give a cta and recommendations like recommend products some like based on their personalization so this is like how you can add the third email also so if you need any help uh, for email marketing and for sms marketing regarding clavio or any uh, other tool so just feel free to reach out to me via my email uh, my Facebook page, my LinkedIn profile, Facebook profile, and uh, like how you want to uh, like uh, assess me. 
So you can like uh, uh, come to me and feel free to ask and I will try my best to help you out. Okay, so uh, this was our today video and if you need any help, just feel free to contact me. So stay tuned and stay happy. Thank you.